are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we have been waiting for a while now to actually identify the shooters in the Kansas City uh, Chiefs Super Bowl parade shooting. Now, I did show you guys one picture of one of the guys that was actually um, tackled. The mainstream media does not want to show this. Why? Why are you not showing this? I mean, two guys have now been arrested. Two young people have been arrested. And there's no doubt about it, guys. They're black. They're black. But the media does not want to show you that. They're making all kind of excuses. The Kansas City um, um, mayor is actually, you know, screaming racism, you know, at the governor for calling these two young individuals thugs. The murderers because a woman lost her life. But up until this point, guys, as of today, we have still not seen the faces, the official faces of these alleged um, killers until now. Yeah, we got some video, guys. We got some videos that actually happened, I believe, about 12 minutes before the shooting actually happened. And the um, the two individuals, they're clearly identified in this video. Now, there's a reason, guys, why they don't want you to see this. They're making an excuse. Oh, and they're minors and all of that other stuff. No, no. The real reason is. They're black. Just as simple, man, they are black. So therefore, they are in a protected class here. And the Kansas City uh, mayor, you know, screaming out uh, racism makes himself look like a fool. Now, this is a cell phone video uh, that we actually have here. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We appreciate the support. So here we go. Right here. Video allegedly shows dispute 12 minutes before Chiefs shooting. Man, it's amazing how uh, modern technology actually does um, more investigative journalism than the media themselves. But look here. Video published by TMZ allegedly shows a dispute between teens on Wednesday, approximately 12 minutes before the shooting at the Kansas City Chiefs parade. TMZ reported, quote, there, there are a few key players to focus on. A teen in red who you can see get angry and throw his bat down as he argues with someone who's not in clear view. There is also another teen in all black with a uh, satellite bag hanging from his side who walks towards the action. So right here, guys, we're going to uh, play this uh, clip here and you guys will be able to see the individuals. They're, they're going to clearly uh, mark them as Hey, check out these guys here. Let's go ahead and play it. I can't see. So, so right here, that's just regular Chiefs fans right here. They're just blocking out their faces right there. Okay. Now that guy right there who just missed, I believe he's one of the uh, suspects. He has blood uh, going down his um, head or face or something like that. Yeah, see the guy in the red takes out off his backpack. Watch this. So, bam, that's one guy right there, clearly in view right there, black guy. They point at him. Another guy with a white um, hoodie. That's the guy right there. I believe they got tackled and got arrested. He has a mask over his face. Looks like they're all wearing a uh, chief ge chief's gear. So he takes off his backpack. He's arguing with somebody you can't see in the frame there. He 
And then here's another uh, angle. The guy coming in the frame with the uh, the white hoodie. With a mask on. Yeah. Astonishing, man. Absolutely astonishing, you know, that um, they don't want you to see this video. They don't want you to see it. Uh, let's see here. They added, quote, these two in particular were recorded walking away from the shooting just moments later. Also seen in the footage we got and a young man in black looks to have been shot. Yeah, he definitely did look like he had um, been shot. Uh, Breitbart News reported that the Jackson County Family Court has two juveniles detained, both who were charged in connection with Wednesday's shooting. It is not known if either of the detained juveniles are visible in the video published by TMZ. Now, they, these are the alleged um, juveniles that got arrested right there. The one in the white definitely looks like the guy that we know got arrested. But for some reason, man, the media doesn't want you to see this, man. TMZ got the video out. Hats off to them. But um, I highly doubt that you're actually going to see this video on mainstream media. They do not want you to see this, man. And I'm pretty sure, you know, that there's actually probably more video out there. That we don't know about. But when I saw the guy with the white hoodie with the mask. Clearly that was the same guy. They got tackled. Got taken to the ground and was arrested by police. His pictures out there. But the mainstream media does not want you to see this man. They don't want you to see this. I mean, it's pretty clear they're trying to hide the identities of these two murderers right here. It's just that clear, man. They're making an excuse. Oh, they're juveniles and all this other stuff. No, trust me. We know if they had a different identity, their pictures would be plastered everywhere. Everywhere. We know that, man. We know that for a fact. That their pictures would actually be plastered everywhere. But they have it, guys. That is the alleged video right there. Of the two. Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade shooters right there. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.